Okay, I'm gonna take the coon out and uh, then I'm gonna start remaking this coyote set. This is the area where we took the first coyote yesterday. And uh, we had a digger up by the front up there. That was probably a coon that did that too, but we'll have to see. Now I put this coon down already, so that's done. He's in there good. Well. These things really come in handy when you get a coon in a coyote set like this because you just can't get a hold of them levers too good. There we go. His old foot's really froze in there good too. There we go. Okay. Give you an idea how big this boy is. Oh my, he's huge. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do, because there is a little bit of blood on the trap here from the coon where he scraped his uh, hide open on the foot, is get that scraped off. We don't want that on there to give the coyote any real sense of what's going on. I mean, they don't think, they just react. I don't want them even reacting here. All the dirt and stuff out of this area where the dog of the trap is so that this spring or this lever moves freely. Get this done here. These springs cleaned up a little bit. Jaws cleaned up with some dirt. Get our pan set. There we go. That should be about right. trap out of here so we don't have any problems getting this bed cleaned out. There we go. Okay, we'll turn this around like this. like we had it. Move this spring under this loose jaw to keep it stationary. There we go. I'll just push this dirt up like that. Back her down. Get 
get our wax paper out here because I don't I don't see the other one. I imagine that coon probably tore it up pretty good anyhow. The big old boars get pretty nasty when they get restrained. Okay, come on, open up. There we go. Alright, now we'll open this thing up. All I do is I fold it up here at the top like this. What that does, that sits right over the dog of the trap. And then this sits underneath the loose jaw here, like this. Now when this gets pulled down, the dirt will pull this down, and that loose jaw will pull that down. I'm not putting these gloves on to save my scent from getting on here. If you noticed the other day, I don't worry about that too much. But what I am doing is keeping my hands warm this morning a little bit. I like to go around the outside edge of the trap at first as much as possible. So that I can get it bedded in tight before I sticks out of here. We don't want nothing in there in between the jaws. Okay. Now we'll get that trap bedded in good and tight. There we go. Now we can do our final cover with this dry dirt that I got here. Not expecting any moisture so I could use what's right here but I just kind of like having good fresh dry dirt on here. When them coyotes come through I want them to make that thing go off right way it's supposed to. Okay now we'll just pull that over like that. over here cover that blood up where we shot him we'll pull up some more of this over here we're going to put this right on top of along the edge here to make kind of a walkthrough set one of my favorite sets I like to just put them up like that he'll walk right through here when I get done Put a little bit of this local duff on it. Just to keep everything smelling like it's supposed to. Put a little bit right here to get him to step over it. A little bit right here to step over it just in case he wants to. Okay. Nothing in there now, so that's not real good. 
I think what we'll do here today is we'll put out a little bit of coyote gland blur. If I can get the jar open. Mm. Well, maybe I won't. Let me go see what else I got over there. Stick here to get some of this on. Okay. And let's put a little bit more of this duff over here like that. Okay, and there's a coyote set remade. Just a simple walk through, and they'll come out of this heavy cover over here to our other side, and uh, that'll be that. Okay, we're back home here. You can see how big that boar coon is compared to the dog, and how big he is compared to the other coon, and pretty big possum there too. I got a friend whose daughter makes uh, koozie cup holders out of the possums. That's one big coon. I'll get him in and get him weighed here in just a little bit and uh, and we'll know for sure what he weighs. I'm guessing 30 or a little better maybe and we'll have to go from there. Okay, the big coon weighed in at 32 pounds. You can tell the difference in size between him and the next coon there, which is a nice coon. It's a big coon too, but not as big as that end one there. And then that big boar possum down there. I got a friend whose daughter makes koozie cups out of them after he tans them. So I'll just give that to her. But anyhow, I thought you'd like to know, that is that 32 pound coon there. I'm gonna take them, put them in the garage now, and I'm gonna uh, go have a cup of coffee, and then I'll get, it, get to skinning them. We'll talk to you later. Tom out. <laughs>